And here at home, the implications of the raid in Syria can still be felt. Fox 43's Madeline Cudahy spoke with local Syrian community members to share their thoughts on the ongoing conflict. The leader of ISIS, Haji Abdullah, is now dead. No American troops were hurt in the blast that U.S. officials say may have dealt a serious blow to ISIS, calling him one of the terrorist group's few remaining legacy leaders. But thanks to the bravery of our troops, this horrible terrorist leader is no more. Our forces carried out the operation with their signature preparation and precision. President of the Syrian American Amerian Organization in Pennsylvania, Aziz Webby, says when incidents like this occur, the Syrian people suffer the most. It's a, it's a war zone over there, and the presence of uh, the military all over the Syrian nation uh, may put the people in danger. You know, we as a Syrian American community, we support in every mission that they take against terrorism. What happened today it was a great victory against terrorism. In Lancaster, local business owner and Syrian refugee Salah Kilo said he and his family sought safety from the war in 2015. Kilo, through his interpreter who spoke with us on the phone, noted while his heart aches for the plight of the Syrian people, his hope is ultimately for peace. Uh, as, as Kurds from Syria, we were on guard alongside the Americans fighting against ISIS. And the people want to live in peace. They want, they want someone to help them to resume their life and live in peace. That's all what people are looking for. Hope for the future as the aftermath lingers. President Biden saying the counterterrorism operation has made the world a safer place. Madeline Cudahy, Fox 43 News.